<laughs> I'll have alcohol because you know I'm an alcoholic. Alrighty, and for you, ma'am, can I get you something to drink? Oh, oh, I'll have tea because I'm terrific, and I'll have Fanta because I'm fantastic. Welcome aboard. Hi. Um. What? Oh. Are you okay? Your titties are pulsating. Okay, fine. Yeah, I need to see your papers. Why are there always dirty dishes? And why am I the only one always doing the dishes? Hey! You haven't been doing the dishes for like eight months straight? And I will continue to do it for the rest of my life. There is a medical emergency, please. Is there a doctor on board? That could have been you. What? You could have been doctor, but no, you chose to be YouTuber. Oma, there's literally someone dying right now. Good, then you go take a video, pour some views. What is that? New speakers. Why would you buy that? Last time you said you couldn't hear the TV. We were watching A Quiet Place. But it's for the surround sound. What are you surrounding our living room's 50 square feet? And those speakers are even bigger than our TV. It doesn't even make sense. Okay, okay, I understand. I'll take care of it. Thank you. But God! <laughs> what the hell is that? Got a bigger TV to match the speakers. But God! Excuse me, young lady. Can you please put your phone to airplane mode or landing soon? Why? It's for your safety. How? Because your phone can interfere with airplane communications. You're telling me my phone is going to mess with this multi-million dollar airplane? Maybe. You want to risk it? Did you even need to go to college for this job? No, we get training from the airline. That explains a lot. Wait, how much do you make? That's a little personal. I heard you guys only make 40k a year. Is that true? That's just starting. We get benefits. Can you even pay rent with that? No. Let me get this straight. You didn't go to college, you're broke, and you wear unflattering clothes for work? Welcome aboard, sir. I see that you're sitting in low class, which is in this direction. Low class? What's that? Seat so low, you're sitting on the ground. Can I get like a snack or something? Of course, sir. Here is our menu. This nothing on this it's just paper i know we serve nothing but that'll be five dollars for the menu buying cheap is so not worth it should have booked on way away this one yes users who sign up for a way away plus membership get cash back on bookings of flights hotels rental cars and more cash cash rate right to your paypal now you can fly on normal flights for cheaper thanks for that advice also where's the toilet here you go sir you can go in that corner as cabin crew, we get to travel all over the world. And one of my most favorite places to visit is Great Britain. Each country and county that you visit is so unique. So different, in fact, that everywhere you go, there'll be a different accent. So I might admit, I have a lot of trouble understanding. For example... You should come over. Your mates would be well gel. Okay. Oh, hello, love. To the moon. Come over for a cuppa. Okay. I'm gonna do the tune. It would be a Camilla, like... Yes. You're all right, lad. Get your kicks on and get over here. It's boss. Boss. Okay. Now, with all my experience, I should be a pro. Let's test it out on the fake Brit challenge. All right, pal. Want to come room my hoose for some scrown in a wee bevy? I knew it! Now, the real question is, will you be as good as me? Try out the fake Brit challenge and let me know in the comments how you did. Good luck! Hi. Just this. So your total is $2.98. Would you like to donate your two cents change to help starving blind children in Africa who are running for their lives and all they want is a place to sleep at night? No, thank you. Okay. Would you like a bag for 20 cents? Yes, I would. <laughs>
Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. For those sitting in no class, I'll now demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. If the seatbelt sign goes on, please fasten your seatbelts located in the basket next to you. How am I supposed to strap myself in with shoelaces? It's super easy. You make two bunny holes go down and under and through the hole. And in case of emergency landing on water, your life vest should be right next to you. This is a balloon? No, this is your life vest. And if you untie it, it's also your oxygen mask. Should have never booked a cheap flight. You should have booked it on way away. Members get cash back on flights, hotels, rental cars, and more. So you can save money and not fly like this. Thanks for the advice. By the way, where are the emergency exits? I don't see one. We just have two emergency exits at the front. But this is the back. That's right. Good luck with that. Hi, can I get a free upgrade? No, but let me tell you how much it would be to upgrade. So I see that you're staying for two weeks, so the total to upgrade to a suite would be $1,500. One second, please. Okay, I'll like that upgrade now, please. Great, should I just charge a $1,500 for your card? Actually, if you look again, I'm now an ambassador of Intercontinental. I signed up for $200 instead of paying $1,500, which pretty much guarantees an upgrade anywhere in the world for the next year whenever I stay with you guys. So, thank you for being an ambassador of our hotel. Enjoy your suite. And how do I know this works? Because I just did it here in Korea. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to direct your attention to the cabin crew in front of you. We will be demonstrating how you can use Wellsimple to buy, sell, or trade your first stock easily. Now we request your complete attention as the cabin crew performs the demonstration. First thing you want to do is open up the app and set up your account. When that is done, there are several ways that you can invest. Please take a few moments to locate the stock you wish to purchase. Now why stop there? There are cryptocurrencies to your left and ETFs to your right. We strongly suggest that you do your research and diversify your portfolio. Don't put all your eggs in one check bag. Once you find a stock you want to invest in, no worries if you don't want to buy the whole thing. You will be able to change your options to fractional buy and trade a piece of stock for as little as $1. $1 here, $1 there, at your own pace until you're ready to take off. We hope you enjoy your flight. Genie, so is this your very last flight? Yep. And you got scheduled for an airport standby? Yeah. That sucks. Eh, it is what it is. So technically, I have the power right now to send you anywhere in the world for your very last shift. Your glasses are so nice. Thanks. Well, I've decided to send you to Johannesburg, South Africa. Okay. You do know that the World Cup is being held there, right? Cool. And Emirates Airlines is the official sponsor for the World Cup. Okay. And Emirates gets box seats for every game. Okay, congrats to Emirates. I don't know. Oh my God. You're Emirates! The crew that flies to South Africa gets box seats for the World Cup game! What did he say? Enjoy your last flight. Only when I lie in bed on my own And I wake up and I don't see your name on my phone Roll up to win is back and there's a daily jackpot of $10,000 from Amex. We could really use that with the baby coming. It's my first class ticket. First class. I meant for the baby, like diapers. We can discuss this after we win. We need a game plan. Okay, so we only have from March 6th to April 2nd. That gives us exactly 28 days to play. But there are 35 chances to win the jackpot. No. You can roll up on beverages, breakfast, and lunch for the both of us daily, which gives us so many chances of winning. There's millions of other prizes. What if we win that? That's a bonus because we still get entered into the daily draw. Just play on the app, right? Yes, so go grab our lunch. Go, 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 go. <gasps> we won! We did? Oh, well, I just wanted to know what it would feel like when we do. Where are you folks from? Canada. Canada? You don't look Canadian. Where are you guys really from? I was born in Toronto. Really? Your favorite sport is hockey, right? <laughs> I like ballet. I love a garpu. Me and my friends, we play in a garpu club. You come to Canada, we teach you. Oh, thank you. You want a snack? You guys eating a poutine? No. Jimbap. You want to try? Oh, no, thank you. 
don't know anything about what it really means to be Canadian. What? You need to watch more CBC. And watch shows like Kim's Convenience and Run the Burbs. Sorry, but I just overheard that you're from Canada. Me too! You guys do say sorry a lot though. Sorry? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to say sorry, but uh, what? No, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I swear I didn't mean to say sorry to my sorry. What? <laughs> That's weird. Sorry. What do you mean you're kicking me off my flight? I'm sorry, ma'am. The flight is overbooked, so I booked you in for the next available flight. No, 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 no. I fully paid for my flight. Okay, I have a confirmed ticket, confirmed reservation, and the plane left without me. How is that even fair? What am I going to do about my plans? I have to change all of my plans? Just because you guys Since there's a huge time gap flight, for your next flight, flight we'll be compensating me? you $1,550. Always me, always me. Excuse me, what? $1,550 for the inconvenience. What? What, what? what? Why would you do that? Well, it's actually the law. Your next available domestic flight is over two hours arrival delay. So we need to compensate you 400% of your one-way ticket fare. And I calculated yours is $1,550, which is our maximum payout. Oh, well, I already knew that because I follow Jeannie Weenie. Honestly, if I was you, I'd be totally upset too. Like being bumped totally sucks. So let me see if there's something else I can do. <gasps> Why don't I upgrade you to first class because it's available on the next flight? Okay, well, thank you for bumping me. Happy Chinese New Year. I have a red envelope for each one of you. Well, why are you being so nice and generous all of a sudden? Well, giving you guys red envelopes actually brings me good fortune as well. So I'm actually just doing this for me. Only you can turn generosity into selfishness, but whatever. Yoink. Aw, thanks, Lindsay. A penny. The amount of money in there reflects how important you are in my life, so. <laughs> But it's an old bill, not a crisp new one, so it's only gonna bring you old luck. <laughs> Fine by me. Four hundred forty-four dollars, which in Chinese means ultimate death. <laughs> Who cares what it means? I'll take the cash. Thank you so much. Watch out for that suitcase. <laughs> Jimmy. Uh, where's my seatbelt? I can give you one for $10. Excuse me? You only paid for us to fly you from point A to point B and everything else is an add-on. Isn't that unsafe? Your safety is our number two priority. What's number one? To make a profit, of course. Speaking of which, I noticed that you put a bag in the overhead bin, which will come to $50. You also stored some items in the pocket in front of you, which will be an additional $50. And I see that you're using one armrest, an additional charge. And earlier I saw you take a photo of our plane. So I'll issue you a licensing rights for that and the total comes to $478 so far. This is ridiculous! You should have booked on way away. You get cash back on regular flights. Totally doing that next time. <clears throat> Anyways, where's the toilet? That's just in the back and it'll be $20. $20? Forget it. I'll just go in my pants. Oh, you don't want to do that. That's a $1,200 cleaning fee. Have you ever wanted to change seats on a plane so you can sit next to your friend or partner? Usually we're assigned seats before boarding, so seat changes are done on the plane. So here are seat change success rates, couples edition. So let's say you're a couple that's sitting separately and you want to change seats with a solo traveler on a flight that's over four hours. If you're doing a same seat to seat exchange in the same area, the success rate is about 99.9%. I've never had anyone say no. If it's the same seat, but you ask them to move zones so they were at the front and now you're asking them to move to the back, about 80%. Now, if you add close to a toilet or close to a crying baby, that goes down to like 40%. Now, if you're doing a different seat exchange, like you ask them to give up their window or aisle for a middle seat, 15%, maybe 10, like no one wants the middle. But if you give up your window or aisle for their middle seat, your rate goes back up to 99%. And to those that try to change seats with different classes, <laughs> please don't even try to ask someone who's sitting in Economy Plus or business to take your economy seat. Passengers pay a lot of money to upgrade, so unless you plan on paying them back, your success rate will be negative 682%, okay?
Have you ever wanted to change seats on a plane so you can sit next to your friend or partner? Usually we're assigned seats before boarding, so seat changes are done on the plane. So here are seat change success rates, couples edition. So let's say you're a couple that's sitting separately and you want to change seats with a solo traveler on a flight that's over four hours. If you're doing a same seat to seat exchange in the same area, the success rate is about 99.9%. I've never had anyone say no. If it's the same seat, but you ask them to move zones so they were at the front and now you're asking them to move to the back, about 80%. Now, if you add close to a toilet or close to a crying baby, that goes down to like 40%. Now, if you're doing a different seat exchange, like you ask them to give up their window or aisle for a middle seat, 15%, maybe 10, like no one wants the middle. But if you give up your window or aisle for their middle seat, your rate goes back up to 99%. And to those that try to change seats with different classes, <laughs> please don't even try to ask someone who's sitting in economy plus or business to take your economy seat. Passengers pay a lot of money to upgrade. So unless you plan on paying them back, your success rate will be negative 682%. Okay. Happy Chinese New Year's, everyone. So for this year, I decided to only give red pockets to those that are not married. Why not married? I'm transferring my luck so you can find forever love this year. I think it's the married ones that need the luck. Anyways, like, who cares? You should, because there's money in those red pockets. What? Well, I'm single, so give me that. I'm single. Didn't you just get married to Veronica last month? Yeah, but... We're currently flying to a country that doesn't recognize same-sex marriages, so technically, I'm still single. So I'll take that. <laughs> so I know I've been married for 40 years, but recently I found out that my husband was cheating on me. And quite frankly, I don't want to be a divorcee, you know, and die alone. So we're testing out this like open relationship thing for now. So technically, I'm single, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> to give you guys real money on this flight attendant salary besides it's not what it's inside that counts it's the outside red envelope that's going to bring you guys luck this year guys